Etrachan sighed. I'm Yuzuria. About a year ago, I moved from the city to the peaceful countryside. Oh, Yuzuria. Hello, you look beautiful today. Hello, Miss Yuri. Oh, no, no. Oh, almost forgot. Take some tomatoes that I just picked this morning. Oh my, thank you so much. The neighbor's personalities are nice and it's the ideal country living. Having lived in the hustle and bustle of the city, every day is fresh to me. It's quiet and peaceful, and every day is like a summer vacation. Living in the countryside is wonderful. Except for one person. Ow, Miss Yasuria! <sighs> You're killing time gracefully here, aren't you? How good of you! Mother, this evil mistress forget the existence of thistles. The reason I started living in the countryside in the first place was because I was getting married. Miss Yuzuriha, will you marry me? Akamatsu, a proposal after three years of dating with a colleague at a trading company. I was living the ideal life. Oh yeah, Yuzuriha. Did you leave your days open this week? Yes. Going to go greet your mother at home, right. I'm nervous. You don't need to be rigid like that. It's a nice and peaceful place. I think you'll really like it. The countryside. I grew up in Tokyo all my life, so I've always admired it a little. But that faint hope were to be shattered. Ha! Huh. Leaving my precious son in the hands of such a flamboyant-looking girl. Mom! Saying that I put on very little makeup and chose to dress modestly. I'm sorry, my mom, she grew up in the countryside all her life, so she seems to have a prejudice against city people. It's okay, I understand that can't be helped. As I thought, it's not so easy to get forgiveness after all. Oh, Miss Yasuria, can you cook and clean with those nails? It's fine. Yuzuriha is very good at housework. You can say anything with just your mouth. Besides, Akamatsu, you're constantly on overseas assignments for work. Can you leave your house in the hands of a person who is pretty and spends money willy-nilly on makeup and clothes? I believe you're going overseas again next week. No. Yuzuriha's just thrifty. And anyway, I was thinking of getting married after I'm done with my overseas assignment. Really? I know. During your overseas assignment, if Miss Yuzuriha is willing to live with me here, then I'll accept your marriage. I also want to see if you're a good fit for Akamatsu. I think it would be a good social lesson to experience what it's like to be a housewife living in the countryside. What? Why are you bothering to make such a condition? I was told Miss Azumi's husband passed away early and she raised her son all by herself. I couldn't resist such a policy as my mother-in-law's. Besides, if I do my chores well, I might even get along with my mother-in-law. Understood. I will stay with you for a while. Yuzuriha? Are you sure about this? Yes, I've always wanted to live in a rural area. Yuzuriha. We've been living together for three months, and now I get it. I realize that my mother-in-law's proposal was not out of kindness or to check on me. Goodness, wearing such a flashy outfit like that. You may be pretty and you may want to show it off, but you need to dress more like a country wife. Otherwise, it's going to be a problem. Are you going to be so stingy even with just a plain dress? Oh, it's okay, Miss Asami. It is a young person's outfit. Ha! If you got time to throw out the house chores and go for a walk, I wish you helped me a little. The cleaning, laundry, preparing for lunch, I've already taken care of everything. I've been meaning to ask for a long time, but our warehouse is still completely untidy. It isn't easy for an elderly to clean the warehouse. Yes, Aria, I know it'll be tough, but do your best giving a hand. I yes. This woman, whenever I talk to my neighbor, she immediately starts spreading bad reputation. It's so obvious, clear, that she's trying to ruin my reputation and get me out of here. Ugh, it looks dusty. Dirty jobs and heavy lifting jobs are all left for me to do. Akamatsu's busy overseas right now, and I don't want to worry him about this fiasco I'm in, so I'm keeping quiet, but it's breaking my heart. The reason the warehouse isn't tied in the first place is because Mother keeps neglecting it. She can't talk like I'm the one slacking off and doing nothing. Must say though, this warehouse is full of old antiques, basics and ceramic ornaments too. Maybe they used to be a prominent family in the past. Huh? Wonder what this is? Mm -hmm. Some kind of personal note? Looks like it's pretty old. It was written so fast I can't read the letters. Miss Yasuria? Very quiet. Are you cleaning properly? Uh, mother! Hmm, what are you holding? 
Give me that! Yeah? What is this, some scrappy bit of paper? You should throw this stuff away! No, it looks like a very old memoir. It could be a precious item left to you by your ancestors. You have many other items that seem to be antiques. I recommend you have them appraised before throwing them away. I see. How do you do an appraisal? To examine what we found in the warehouse, we applied to the local Atola University researcher for an on-site appraisal. Yes, looking at it, it's a very precious item, especially this book. Based on the condition of the book, I assume it's at least from the pre-Edo period. Are you serious? Yes, I'll have to do a thorough evaluation of the contents to know, but it contains the word gold many times so it could possibly be the location of an inheritance that your ancestors have left you. What? So that means it's a book that describes where the buried gold is? M Mother, that hasn't been decided yet. It's just a possibility. So I'll get back to you with more details. Thank you very much. Huh. And so, one day, about three full days after we decide to submit the antiques in books for appraisal. Mr. Zuriha? Mr. Tachibana, what's the matter? Uh, I heard from Miss Asami about your theft, so I came here to talk to you. What? Theft? Uh, um, I don't remember stealing anything. What do you mean? There's a rumor in the village that you had recently ransacked the warehouse without Miss Asami's permission, and were trying to steal an ancient document that had been passed down in her family. There's a big fuss about whether or not to tell the police. It's a misunderstanding. I was just cleaning the warehouse as ordered by my mother-in-law. Hmm. But Miss Osmi said you'd say that to cover it up. The story goes that in the nick of time, Miss Osmi came in to stop you, and the incident never happened. I'm telling you, I. You're getting married soon, aren't you? If someone with bad habits comes in from someplace else, we can't just sit here in silence. For now, I see your point. I'll come again. Uh, what the hell? That's a completely false accusation! But in this small countryside, even the suspicion stage, the rumors spread fast. Have you heard? The wife at Mr. Ozumi's place. She was just looking for her house, right? That's awful. I wonder if she's marrying for money. I feel sorry for Miss Ozumi. I always thought she'd get in people's hair, that girl. She was walking around and giving off that I'm not like you people aura, wasn't she? I've been totally set up. Once a bad rumor starts in a countryside like this, you can't live a normal life. Anyway, I have to contact Akamatsu. I can't forgive such a lie like this. Huh? Akamatsu's messages? They've been deleted? No way. His phone number's been deleted too. Why? And my phone number has been changed as well. Could it be? Did Mother take the liberty of fiddling with my contacts and changing my number? Mother, what in the world is going on here? Now, I see the thieving cat has returned home. Spewing lies and fiddling with my phone without permission. Will you stop threatening my lifestyle? I finally reached the limit of my patience. Lie? What are you talking about? Can you give proof that my statement is a lie? Well... Okay then, let's do this, Miss Yazuria. You must give up on my son now and leave. Only then I'll tell everyone in the village that we come to a settlement. And then I won't sue you. What? What have I done to you that would make you go that far? Just get out! Don't you ever cross my threshold again! It's no use. There's no point whatever I say. We're not getting anywhere at this rate. After making that judgment with nothing but the clothes I was wearing, I left the house and returned to the city where my parents lived. <sighs> I don't know how this could have happened. I only moved dreaming of a happy marriage, so why? <laughs> if only those old documents haven't been found, none of this would have happened. Who could it be at this time of night? <gasps> Akamatsu? Akamatsu... Yuzuriya! Sorry I took so long! I'm so sorry! Akamatsu, I've missed you! Yuzuriha! I'm sorry about my mom! I asked my mom about not being able to contact you, and she said you robbed her and left! I had to go back to my parents' house first! No, no, it's fine. I'm also sorry. Yuzuriha... It's all over now. I was able to prove everything Mom said was a lie. So don't worry. Wait, really? How did you find out about it? Well, it's all thanks to that ancient document you found. What? That ancient document? Yeah. Just as I was arguing with Mom to tell me the details, 
We got a call saying they got the results of the appraisal. She said she'll be right there. And my mom, who wouldn't listen, forced me to drive out to the research lab with her as her footman. And then... As a result of the appraisal, here's what the memoir says. The girl who was introduced by the Kaneda shop sat to see an ugly girl come in. Her eyes are bulging out and has such a prominent nose that she looks like an alien. And she's tall. The Kanadas are being picky and asking us to give them money for the referral. And I want them out as soon as possible. I know! I'll pretend they stole our money and then kick them out. That's all. It was just a diary. The wife may have been ugly by the old standards, but I bet she was a beautiful person. Still, a false accusation is a terrible thing to do. In any generation, it's always ugly when a mother-in-law is jealous of the young wife. So basically, are you saying that what was written was just a complaint that your mother's ancestors made? It's pathetic, isn't it? An ancestor going out of their way to leave their daughter-in-law's complaints to future generations? Mom was going around bragging to all the ladies in the neighborhood that she found an old document that contained the location of buried gold. I told everyone, there was no treasure. It was an embarrassing ancestor's wife-shaming diary. Is what I said. <laughs> and also, according to the testimony of our neighbor, Grandma Yuri, we found out that you were cleaning the warehouse at Mom's request. Grandma joined me in telling the truth to the people in the village. Miss Yuri... So now my mom is a famous lying hag in the neighborhood. Even I have no intention of helping a mom like that. Yuzuriha, I'm sorry that you had to go through that. I've already cut ties with my mom. Carry on living together with me. Bakamatsu! Okay! And so, my peaceful lifestyle was protected by an ancient document that I stumbled upon and was able to break off my relationship with Miss Azumi. Even now, my once neighbor, Miss Yuri, would send summer vegetables every year. And though we are far apart, we continue to keep in contact with each other. Sometimes it's good to live earnestly. Wow! We've received a lot again this year! How shall we eat these? Living with my mother-in-law, I was hurt. But this is me trying to cherish the line that connects us. Incidentally, this is a side note, but the other items appraised were all junk in the end. Oh dear. All of these are fakes of famous items. Must have been a pretentious ancestor. ご視聴いただきありがとうございました。他人も貶める嘘を周りに降らしたところで一時的に立場を良くなるかもしれませんが、我らが一気に悪くなるというのに想像力が足りませんね。本当になぜここまでのことをするんですかね。<笑> ま、